Hi, I am Rhonda. I am a totally blind homeschooling mom. I would like to show you how I make my homeschool materials accessible. My son is nine years old, so I no longer have to um, braille a lot of things so I can work with him. So let's get started. In my school cabinet down here, oops, where I keep all of my curriculum, I so I can get things out and I know what things are. For example, the top of this has braille. It says story of the world. CDs and each disc they have print numbers on them oops so I did them in braille like this is disc one it has a braille number one on it um, that's so I can get it out for him so he doesn't have to get his own school workout um, uh -oh. Sorry about that. So, also, I take the books that we are using and I write the name of the book in Braille. Um, like this is our curriculum this year, for example. This is sequential spelling um, so I can just get a spelling book it's a sequential spelling sorry about that I'm trying to navigate he's holding my phone and holding my books so I have his curriculum for next year I did a video on that With his curriculum for next year, we are using the good and the beautiful. Um, so I can either open up this baggie that I probably won't keep it in next year, but now if I want to say, okay, kiddo, I would like you to read 20 and 10. I would go into my curriculum. Right. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm trying to do everything one handed. But I would go into my curriculum. Pull well, out these two books. One is 20 and 10. I put braille on the front of this book. It does not affect the print. So this is 20 and 10. And this is the big wave. Now, for what I can also do is follow along in my PDF if he needs help or he's stumbling using my iPad. I do not have a computer. Social, heavy, um, so page two of three, and jump page. So three. I can go here. Xbox, birthday, Jenny Phil, Prime Video, Level Four, Google Drive. Open my Level Four. Switch from grid. PDF Level Four underscore. Details. What PDF image thumbnail pre PDF Level Four underscore course book part two underscore website with details. Say we're in course details. book part PDF one. Level Four underscore course book part one underscore website with. I can. Display Level Four underscore course screen curtain off. Open this PDF. See, you have my PDF. And. Showing view. Page one. HTTP. Page two. Re on by Jenny Phillips with control below. Middle. Copyright 2017. Jenny PHILIPS. Article line WWW. Jenny Phillips. So I read my shows on this screen. Homeschool group. First edition. Page three of 211. My PDF reads. Um. 
as for scripture study, um, here is scriptures. If we are reading in the Book of Mormon, or the Pearl of Great Price, or the Doctrine and Covenants, here's oh, that went great. Here's my Braille. See, there's no words, but there's Braille. Um, <coughs> I read that with my fingers. And I don't know where his scriptures are. These are like my Braille books. This is the Book of Mormon, the Pearl of Great Price, and the Doctrine of Covenants. All these are Corbin's books, cookbooks, magazines, things like that. Um, so, he can, he can follow along in his print scriptures. Um, I currently have no clue where he put them. Oh, they're there. His scriptures are a lot, it's a lot smaller than mine. Um, he has the Old, the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Pearl of Great Price, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Book of Mormon. I do not have the Bible in Braille because it's too many Braille books, and I do not have the space. So, I use my Bible on my phone to follow along with him. Um... As for math, um, when he was younger, we used counting bears a lot um, to sort and my counting bears. yeah, to sort and to count. We still have them. Um, I buy new ones every year, even though we, I don't know, we don't use them as much. Um, he likes to play with them. So when I have my little daycare kiddos over, his favorite thing to do is help them sort them by colors. Um, we still use Unifix cubes. Rats, I cannot get this shot. Okay. We still use Unifix cubes very often. Um, my kiddo is very advanced in math. However, he still forgets um, place values, you know, ones, tens. Not so much ones. These pencils are Unifix cubes. Oh, those are pencils. Um, but if we're doing, you know, numbers into <clears throat> finding the thousands place, you know, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, he gets ones, tens, hundreds, but going into the thousands, he's like, eh, I don't think I can do this. And then I'll show him a visual and he's like, oh, it's done like that. Um, so <clears throat> I'll still sit with him and help with that. If need be, by using my Unifix cubes that um, I don't know where they are at the moment. Here's our school shelf. I need to do some reorganizing because I live in a house with all boys and I'm a neat freak and the boys are not. I bet the Unifix cubes are down here. Yes, they are. Um, I keep the Unifix cubes in a little container <coughs> and I keep them grouped in fives because they fit in my container. Like here's my little tiny container and we have a hundred of them and they fit perfect. So I keep them in groups of fives just because it fits better that way. 
Um, I don't do a lot of adaptations um, because Corbin can read on his own. He's pretty self-sufficient. Can and will do his own work some days. The will part. He can do his work. He's 1,000% capable. Some days, rather he will do it or not, <clears throat> is up to him. And some days are better than others because homeschooling is definitely no walk in the park. We have our good days. We have our bad days. We have our what the crap am I doing days. We have our God, did you really call me on this journey? Or you really want to teach me some patience days. And we have our I got this. I'm on top of the world days. I could do anything. <clears throat> um, so that's kind of how I do things. We don't do a lot of online stuff because my kiddo hates online stuff. We tried online and it was a disaster. Um, he, he just doesn't like it. Um, he'd rather have the pencil and paper in his hand. How we can go through 96 pencils in the span of three months is beyond my understanding. But hey, he likes pencil and paper, so we just buy him pencil and paper. Um, if you're watching my video for the first time, thank you for watching. If you are already a subscriber, thank you for sub subscribing to my channel. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, please remember to click the subscribe button for future updates. And I promise I will be better at updating curriculum and other things and how it's going for us. I currently suck at keeping things updated, but... I'm working on it, okay? Um, thank you and have a good day.